very credible experiments going on. If you have any questions about psychology and whether it's right for you, please feel free to contact me at the school and I will happily talk to you about the kind of things that are involved and whether it might suit you. Thanks for your attention. A little bit today about BCE psychology. So one of the reasons you might like to study psychology is because you have an interest in the brain or behavior. But for me, I think that psychology is such a valuable science because there is still so much that we don't understand about our brains. It is a complex organ and understanding the way that it functions is still a massive field of science of neuroscientific research. In addition to this, as many of us are aware, after the COVID-19 pandemic, we are in desperate need of counselling and psychology services for the community as many of us are starting to recognise the importance of maintaining our mental health and seeking help when things aren't going right. Psychology opens the door not only to understanding ourselves but the possibility of learning more about this incredible organ that runs our entire body. So what is psychology? Psychology is in fact a VCE science and I think it's really important that prospective students understand that. So it does require key science skills. It requires research methods. There are practical tasks and practical reports that need to be completed. We use scientific language and terminology. There is a lot of key terms and language with relation to the brain and behavior that students need to understand. We also need good reading and writing skills because we read a lot of scientific research and reflect back on that. In units one and two, so year 11 psychology, we have two broad areas. So those are how behavior and mental processes are shaped and how external factors influence behavior and mental processes. So in unit one, we look at psychological development from birth to adulthood and how our brain and behavior develops. We look at mental processes and behavior and how they are influenced by our brains and students do a self-directed research investigation, engaging with scientific research and studied peer reviewed papers and report back on that. In unit two, we look at social behavior and social cognition and the way that the world around us and people influence our behavior and group behavior. We look at perception and distortions of perception, which is always a really fun unit where we get to look at illusions and ways that our brains can be tricked. Um, and we look at the way that our perception of the world is influenced by our experiences. And in unit two, students get to do a student directed practical investigation where they design, undertake and report on an investigation of their own design, usually getting a chance to go around the school and trial some of their ideas on their peers. Moving into year 12s in units three and four, our two broad areas are ex how does our experience affect our behavior and our mental processes? And then in unit four, we look at how mental well-being is supported and maintained. I think the unit three and four content is really timely for a lot of our year 12s because we look at things like the nervous system and how stress affects our nervous system. And we look at the processes of learning and the mechanisms of learning and how we can improve our memory. And then when we move into our mental well-being area, we look at sleep and how important that is for our well-being and how our body needs sleep. And then when we look at mental well-being, we look at what that is. We look at specific phobias, which is always a really interesting area to look at. And we look at how we can maintain our mental well-being, which, as we know, is the key to not only mental health, but physical health as well. And students, again, in Unit 4, get to do a practical investigation of their own design, which they design, implement and report on, which is always fantastic. And we have